you will prep and not even 100% of that prep goes into the podcast. Only 10, 20% of it actually comes out, but you got to make sure that you're prepared on every level. You almost have to walk in being like a Swiss army knife. You kind of got to have all the answers. Even if you only use one part of it, you've got to be prepared for everything. I feel like the biggest podcasters out there, they actually talk about everything. Now, not necessarily themselves, they'll bring a guest on. But when I was researching the field, when I look at, into what podcasting is and who is the who of podcasting, who is successful, Look at guys like Joe Rogan and Patrick Bet David and these guys, they talk about everything and anything. So you really got to be prepared and really got to be open-minded because there might be certain topics that you as the podcaster don't actually like or you haven't delved into that much. But as soon as you take that away from yourself, you're taking one avenue for potential listeners and potential success. You never know. You know, you never know where that boost can come from and um, it's almost one of the hardest creative professions to be as a podcaster because you know as an artist you can be as abstract as you want and sometimes anyone will buy your piece of work so let me give you an example right an Italian artist a few months ago literally sold an empty space an actual artist literally sold nothing and then said it was for the imagination to work it out what they're paying for right so that's an artist you look at other fields there's always one niche thing to do but with podcasting it almost seems like these days, if you don't know how to talk about everything, you might actually just never make it. Well, there's different people have different views. Like some people say, if you try to reach too many people, you're not going to reach anyone. So like, I, I think it could go either way, but certainly having that potential to generalize uh, rather than specialize, like having that option puts a lot less pressure on my back because I love being open-minded and I love learning new things. So it's great. I mean, there's a lot of freedom with this platform. 